second lesson for first graders. And this is subtraction, and we'll be using the bar model to illustrate what we are working on. So let's get to this lesson. There are six cars. Four cars drive away. How many cars didn't drive away? So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many cars that didn't drive away. What information we are given to help us find the answer? Well, we're given that there are six cars and four drives away. So let's use some counters. Here we have six pictures to represent cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. These represent cars. Four of them drive away. One, two, three, four. These four drive away. So how many cars didn't drive away? This is the question we're trying to answer. And we can see that two cars did not drive away. So to write it in subtraction sentence, it's six minus the four cars is equal to two cars that did not drive away. Six original cars that were there minus the four that drove away and we're left with two that did not drive away. And that's subtraction. Now using the bar model to model this, so you have a bar that looks like this. You have this one bar and the number six right here. So this bar represents all the six cars. See, you can kind of fit all the cars here. In this bar, right? And then down here will show us what the six is made of. Well, this portion right here is four. And this portion is the two. So we can clearly see this six in this case is made up of this four and the two. This is the four that we took away, and here's the two that was left. This bar model represents what's going on here. Now, usually you'd see a six and a four and an empty space here. So we can clearly see six is the whole thing, the six cars, and we're going to subtract four. These are the ones that drove away. And this mysterious spot right here is the two that we have found. And that's it. On to the next one. Twelve birds are flying over the house. Seven birds are red birds. The rest are blue birds. How many birds are blue? So we think about this and we say to ourselves, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many birds are blue. And what information we are given to help us find this answer? Well, we were told that there are 12 birds flying. That's information right there. And seven of them are red. So we know seven out of the 12 are red. And let's... Let's use some counters or use some pictures, something to help us solve this. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve birds. Seven birds are red. So out of all these twelve, seven are red. So let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven will be the red birds. And remember, it said the rest are blue. So if these seven are red, 
then these are the rest. These are the leftovers. These are... This number represents the number that are blue. And how many do we see here? We see one, two, three, four, five. So five birds are blue. So this is how we write it as a subtraction sentence. We have a 12, and we get a minus 7, and we're left with 5. 12 was originally how many birds that were flying over the house. We're going to minus the 7 red birds to figure out how much is left. How many are the other colors that are flying over the house? And we find out it's 5. And here is the bar model. So, here's a bar. This bar represents 12. And it's made up of a 7 and a 5. So, 12 minus the 7 gives us this 5. On to our third word problem. Sally has eight oranges. She gave two oranges to her friend. How many oranges does Sally now have? So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many oranges does Sally have after giving some to her friend. And what information are we given to help us solve this? Well, the information we have is, we know that Sally has eight oranges, and she gave two oranges to her friend. Let's look at this in, in a picture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight oranges, and two oranges she gives to her friend. One, two. And what are we left with? Well, we notice there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six oranges. So Sally has six oranges left. So the subtraction sentence looks like this. We have an eight minus the two. This is the two she gave away. She's left with six. Eight minus two is six. And the bar model, to show this, now this bar is representing 8. And so, how would a 2 look? Well, a 2 is going to look kind of small compared to this 8. So it looks like this. So this 8 minus this 2. And we're left with 6. And this bigger bar right here, this bigger section of this bar, is six. This eight is made up of two and six. So you'll see something like this that looks like an eight up here, and you'll see a two. So you'll know, okay, it's eight minus a two, and it's going to give us what's this over here, which is a six. So that's it. Subtraction using bar models. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.